Hello, welcome to an EM Creations Java tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to implement a linear search in Java. First thing we're going to do is we're going to open NetBeans. Um, I recently made a tutorial about how to create a linear search in PHP. It's uh, basically the same algorithm for Java, it's just uh, the code slightly different. Uh, so once I've opened up NetBeans, I'm going to create a new project and it's going to be Java, Java application. I'm going to call it Tutorial. Uh, I'm not going to create a main class. I'm going to finish. Uh, I'm now going to create a new uh, a new class. Uh, it's going to be called Searches. And I'm just going to create a default package. Just, just need to create a new package. Uh, tutorials uh, sorry searches finish okay in here first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to import I'm going to create a main method um, in here I'm going to create a new searches a new um, searches object this is so I can call a non-static method um, I'm going to import uh, array list because I'll be using the array list as the array we're going to as the array list we're going to search through um here I'm gonna create a new method called me, private method no public. No. Um it's gonna be called linear search private int. It's gonna return integer, so it's gonna be an int. I'm gonna have two parameters. It's gonna have an a string array list of array and a string to find. The the array list the array that's a variable that's going to store the array list of the array list we're searching through, and to find will be the string we're trying to find in the array list. So what we need to do is I first need a variable to count. So int i equals zero. This will count which element in the array list we're currently looking through. Uh, and they're going to create a for each in Java. So for each string val in the array array. Now what we need to check is we need to check if the value matches what we're trying to find. So simple if statement if val dot equals to find. So this if statement here says if the value we've current we're currently looking at in the array list equals what we're trying to find, then we found what we're looking for. So we need to return i because i will be the element of the array list we're currently on. Um, now underneath the for loop we're going to have no sorry in the for loop underneath the if step we're going to have i plus plus to increment variable i after the for loop we're going to return minus one what that will do is if we couldn't find what we're searching for in the array list we'll return minus one meaning we couldn't find it uh, okay i'm now going to create another method to just a test method uh, it's going to void, private void, no, public void, sorry. Test linear search. I'm going to create a new array list, string array list. Array list, string, uh, my array equals new array list. Um, here we're going to now populate the array list. Dot add lemon lime pear apple. Okay, uh, so we've populated the array list with four items. Now we're going to print the output of linear search. 
So we're going to go system down to print len, linear search, my array, because that's the array list we're searching through, and I'm going to try and find a string of pair. Now, this should output a value of 2, because lemon's at position 0, lime's at position 1, pair is at position 3, uh, 2, sorry. So it should be 2, it should be the output. If this works, uh, I just need to put in the vo in the main method, I just need to put in test linear search. Searches dot test linear search. After I run this, should output. So running it, output is two. So we've started the main method. It's created a new object searches. It's then ran test linear search. Linear search is populated the array list, and then output linear search of uh, trying to find pair, which output two correctly. Uh, let's try and find apple. That should be at position three. Save it, rerun it. Position three. It's worked correctly. Now we're going to try searching for something that isn't in the array list. So um, orange. Going to run it again. Now it puts minus one. So this has shown the linear search is working correctly. It's outputting the element in the array list. Uh, if it if it can find what we're looking for, if it can't, it's outputting minus one. Uh, that is very simply how you create a linear search in Java. In a few tutorials time, I'll, um, in, a, in a while I'll create a tutorial on how to make a binary search in Java. Binary searches only work if you have an ordered list uh, of items, uh, but a linear search works if it's ordered or not ordered. Um, so yeah.